Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. Friday afternoon where I am, beautiful afternoon. And I am doing a reading, well a couple of readings today on cousins. Uh, well the husband uh, in this case of Zara, the cousin, a uh, much loved cousin of Prince William. They seem to have a very close bond. And Mike Tyndall uh, is uh, one who has really become very popular as a uh, a royal, well, not quite royal, married in, one of the married ins. And he is very popular, he's very highly regarded. I'm using the Crow Tarot uh, for this reading. It's a good gossipy tarot. And Mike Tyndall, of course, famous uh, for many things, but uh, famous right now for scarfing Harry and Meghan on the steps of St. Paul's. He did a brilliant job of ignoring them as they were waiting for their car to arrive. Some awkward conversation that Pozara was engaged in. But he uh, absolutely cut them dead and uh, then allegedly made a comment about Prince Harry at a drink session uh, with that the cousins had after I think it was after the pageant the last day of the Platinum Jubilee weekend he made a very rude comment about Prince Harry and uh, it's been reported in the press <laughs> and uh, everybody is absolutely um, on side with Mike Tyndall, he was, you know, um, in awe, awe supporting him in his assessment of Prince Harry and his personality. Um, but I want to know how he really feels about Prince Harry right now, how he feels about his daughter being used by, allegedly being used by Harry and Meghan in the window at Trooping the Colour uh, to score some points, to get some PR, to get their, their uh, photo in the papers, how he feels about that. Who was the one who leaked this rude uh, word to the press? Uh, a lot of people are speculating it might be Princess Eugenie who uh, People call the Paris, the Paris Mall, the Palace Mall. She uh, sometimes is referred to as. She seems to be uh, very much on in the Harkle camp still. So we're going to have a look at that. Just a five card reading using the Crow Tarot and uh, see how Mark Tyndall feels, how he feels about his daughters being used and who might have been the one who leaked this and the outcome for the relationship with the Harkles of this news coming out. And underlying energy is the Six of Cups in reverse. This is a falling out card. Six of Cups in reverse. Let's show you it the right way up. There it is. The Crow Tarot is Six Cups. The Six Cups are about harmony, but harmony with friends and family from the past. People you have a long-term relationship with, a long-standing relationship with. And I'm going to have to stop. I have a bit of a scratchy throat. Apologies for that little break. I have a bit of a scratchy throat this afternoon. Nothing serious, but I had to have a little cough. There is a Six of Cups though in the reverse. That is a splitting, a, a falling out with somebody from your past, somebody you were once friends with, somebody you were once really close to. This is a very clear indication that the relationship between Mike Tyndall and Prince Harry has soured since, uh, well, at least since Megxit, maybe since before then, but um, there it is falling out of friends, uh, separation, people you've spent a lot of time with. It's been a long, uh, Mike Tyndall has been in with the royals for a long time and I would say knows all of their dirty secrets by now, knows everything about them, been very loyal, very faithful, uh, married in and yeah, it's uh, it's the end of something that was once a very comfortable and a very easy and a very happy relationship between Mike and Harry. So let's see how we're reading from Mike Tyndall's point of view. Just the situation uh, right now. What is the situation? Uh, we get the five of pentacles in reverse. There it is. The, um, uh, stormy scene and this tree. Um, and this tree uh, being blown, uh, tossed about in the storm. And the Five of Pentacles is about, um, it's about loss and exile and 
being cast out. I'm trying to see where the fifth pentacle is. It is definitely the, fi the five of pentacles. But there are only four pentacles in that tree. I've never noticed that before. Anyway, that's why I'm a little bit distracted as I'm looking at this card. But the five of pentacles is the outcast and exile card. Of course, being cast out into endless night. And, um, well... That is really the way he possibly views Prince Harry, and rightly so. Uh, it is in the reverse, somebody trying to come back from their self-imposed exile. And that would, of course, be Harry and Meghan showing up for the Jubilee weekend when they declared that they were no longer interested in being working royals. It was a cruel royal family had caused them so much distress uh, forced Meghan uh, to the brink of suicide in fact it was also awful but back they came um, uh, couldn't wait to come back and be seen with the rest of the royals he sees it all he knows it all he knows the vibe these two cards are actually quite similar the six of cups in reverse and the uh, five of pentacles uh, energy of uh, being outcast and being alienated so let us see how he views Prince Harry right now and uh, Four of Pentacles, uh, greedy, greedy, uh, clinging on to his titles, clinging on to his royal connections, um, very blocked emotionally, very cold, uh, very mean-spirited. It's the miser card, the Four of Pentacles. You can see there's a city in the background. Um, it looks like an American city to me. That skyline um, looks very American and of course we all know where Harry is and where he went to go and find his uh, freedom and make his fortune. And Mike sees it, he, he, he I think uh, is quite um, scornful of this, this greed, this um, grasping nature, this, this um, need um, to be um, seen uh, uh, in, in those circles, in those very wealthy circles in the United States, um, off with the, the um, tech billionaires, although they seem to have given up on the Harkles, the political elite in the US, all of that kind of stuff, grasping, mucking. Uh, it's a dirty energy, the Four of Pentacles. It is, as I say, a very cold-hearted, hard-hearted energy. You can see how the pentacles are held in front of that crow's chest, where the heart would be. And it's blocked energy, it's, um, it's ugly energy, but it is also hanging on for dear life to all the things that that crow values, status, money, uh, place in the line of succession, titles, all of that stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, it's not a good energy, it's not a good reflection on um, the Prince Harry at all. Mike Tyndall sees him for what he is, he really sees that. How did Mike Tyndall feel about his daughter being used by Harry and Meghan for a pap shot in the window? And we get the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, definitely a money card. Uh, all pentacles coming out quite interesting apart from these underlying energy of cups here. Ace of pentacles in reverse, wanting the big payday but not getting it. He's not, he's not coming across as anger uh, necessarily, that ace of pentacles. He's seeing it though for what it was. It's very clear here. Um, he is shrewd. He is very aware of what's going on and what the Harkles are up to. They wanted to make a ton of money uh, by coming back. There is a money card and there is a money card. They wanted to make a ton of money coming back to the UK. Thought that they were going to try their best with that moment in the window. Uh, all seemed allegedly to be staged and positioned and very deliberate, very calculated. But it failed. It failed. They didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get the footage for Netflix. They didn't get uh, the front page all uh, day after day after day. The newspapers were careful to keep them um, below the fold, I suppose you could say, uh, and make sure that the um, Jubilee was really all about the Queen and the working royals and the royals who were um, not 
um, dishonouring the Queen as the Harkles have dishonoured the Queen. And let's point you to the disclaimer in the box below. This is just a tarot reading, all uh, entertainment and all just my opinion. But pretty clear so far. So who leaked this rude word? To the press who thought that it was worth running to the press and telling tales really tales out of school uh, private cousin party and uh, to queen of pentacles in reverse uh, queen of pentacles in reverse earth sign woman earth sign woman uh, that's not princess eugenia as far as i know she's an aries so that's not her. I can't off the top of my head think who among the cousins is an earth sign. Um, who is the earth sign among the cousins? I'm going to have to stop and have a little look. And I'm back. Apologies again for that little break. And uh, interesting, interesting, because the earth sign that popped up is actually... Uh, there are two. Um, obviously Zara. I thought she was but I wanted to check before I said that. Zara is a Taurus and uh, is the wife of Mike Tyndall. The Queen of Pentacles is a wife card. She's in the reverse. That would be interesting if she's the one that dropped a hint to a friendly uh, press a royal reporter by the way. <laughs> This is what my husband said. I can't see it. I can't see that she would leak something like that. The other candidate, the other candidate is not a woman, but is an earth sign, is Jack, Jack Brooksbank. Uh, why would he do that? Why would he go and say something like that? So I'm not getting a clear answer from that. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That is the... The, the, the culprit, if uh, you want to say culprit, maybe they thought it was funny. This is what he said. Let's go and report it. Tell the Harkles what we think of them. Could be, it could be that uh, Mike and Zara decided, well, you know what? Uh, this is our way of getting back at them or Zara felt that. I'm gonna have to say this is all allegedly. This is all speculation. Um, as I say, you're not getting uh, a very clear indicator from this. I'm not feeling Eugenie. I'm not feeling Eugenie. She's the one I really wanted to check out and see. And she's the one I'm going to be reading on next today. So um, that was my link from the one um, reading to the next reading today. So there it is for what it's worth. Outcome uh, for Mike uh, of his relationship with Prince Harry. How is this broken, clearly broken relationship going to be going in future? I can't imagine that Harry was particularly thrilled to read that. And it's not going to improve with the Four of Swords in reverse. The Four of Swords is the card of retiring, hurt from battle to heal yourself and recover and have a think and meditate and pray and uh, have a rest, basically. Um, it, it is also the card of a reputational harm. And the card is in the reverse, which means there is going to be no rest and no healing and no recovering from this reputational harm. Prince Harry is not going to forgive Mike Tyndall for this insult that has gone so public and has delighted so many people because so many people have learned a new rude word uh, for one thing and so many people for another thing absolutely agree with Mike Tyndall's description of Prince Harry. Harry is not going to forgive him. He is not going to forget and uh, move on from this insult. Uh, Four of Swords is absolutely an insult card and this is a mortal insult as far as Prince Harry is concerned and I would say the relationship is over. Um, I wouldn't say that Mike Tyndall at this point is going to lose any sleep over that fact and which gives credence to the fact that the leak may come from very close to home for Mike Tyndall after all. Um, and very interesting if that is the case. Uh, very interesting how badly the cousins feel. At least that group of cousins uh, feel towards Harry right now for the harm that he has done to the royal family and particular the hurt that he has caused to their grandmother. 
uh, in her time of mourning, in her time of grieving, in her time of sickness and weakness and frailty, caused a lot of harm, done a lot of damage, and the cousins certainly see that and are not ready to forgive him. And that is the reading. I will move on to the next one. <laughs>